um, e-circuit, the only way to turn up your weekend. E-circuit, the only way to turn your... To turn up your weekend. The only way to turn up your weekend. That's what's so. up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope it has been recorded because we'll be using it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So kindly tell us when you started music and um, how it is right now for you. All right. Mm -hmm. So let me say, uh, I happened to start my musical journey when I was a young girl. Mm -hmm. I used to uh, have my father listening to me singing in the kitchen while washing the dishes. Mm -hmm. And then one time he told me, I love the way you're singing. Yeah. You're going to be a star one day. Mm -hmm. So I said, Dad, you believe so? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So keep on singing. Sing. I used to sing different songs and my sister would back me up. Mm -hmm. Actually, my sister inspired me in singing because yeah. he started to sing before me. Mm -hmm. We are a family of four siblings. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, when, when I would see my, my dad pass by, he would listen to me. My mom would enjoy my, my, well, the way I would sing. And I used to love to uh, sing uh, songs uh, my, by Mary Mary. Yeah. In the morning, uh, you'll be... <laughs> so I, I used to enjoy. Yeah. And so uh, by that, when I finished my high school and, uh, and, and, and now was uh, transitioning to university, I happened to tell my dad I want to sing. So he said, let me, let me pursue my diploma in journalism. Mm -hmm. And then now from uh, when I was pursuing my, my diploma in journalism, uh, that's when I, I told my dad I want to go to studio. Mm -hmm. He thought I was joking. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so when I was, in, I was uh, pursuing my journalism uh, course, mm -hmm. Uh, he, he, uh, he, he, I, I took my phone and then I took a list of friends and I told them, uh, kindly support me. I'm, I'm planning my music project and mm -hmm. I need your financial support. Can you believe uh, within a week I was able to raise 11,000? Wow. I went and paid, I, I did my record at the Hit Score Studios at the Kasangas. Uh -huh. So I went paid and then came home and showed my father. Yeah. This is the receipt. Uh -huh. <laughs> what it did was you like say? Wow, this is, uh, he supported. He uh -huh. said, uh, if you're really serious about this, mm -hmm. then let's do this. But um, what about school? School, I, 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 I continued schooling uh -huh. okay, okay. as yeah. I was doing my recording. Mm -hmm. So there I, I, I had a group of uh, like close to 15 people that I, uh, I worked with vocally on, the t on this album. Mm -hmm. The good thing about this album, it, uh, it took me almost like half a year mm -hmm. for the audio production yeah. to, be, to be complete for this uh, album. Mm -hmm. So I had uh, uh, my producer, Mike McLaughlin. Mm -hmm. uh, he did for me a different, the good thing, he listened to my music. And that, at, that, at that particular time I was, an, I was in studio, uh, Rafton happened to pass by. Mm -hmm. And he said, yo, Furaha, you're here. I said, yes, so t I'm serious on my music this time. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he welcomed me and he told me, go for it. So I happened to do the eight uh, video, uh, eight audio track. Mm -hmm. uh, the good thing about my beautiful album, mm -hmm. it has different genre of yeah. music. Yeah. This yeah, one, it has gospel hip-hop. Yeah. <laughs> it has gospel hip-hop. I've been able to hack hip-hop, mm -hmm. R&B, Lingala, and Afrofusion. And this time round, I'm going to be doing rhythm. <laughs> All in this beautiful pack. All of them in one? In one pack. Wow. So uh, I, I, when, I, when I finished the album, mm -hmm. I happen now to, dis, uh, to graduate and uh, also make a decision on, 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 my, on my line of life. Yeah. And now uh, entered in, I did my wedding mm -hmm. in 2015. Mm -hmm. Got married to a very great guy. Mm -hmm. His name is Jeff Coyne. He's mm -hmm. a producer. Yeah, the producer. Yes. So for him, uh, we were blessed with two uh, boys, mm -hmm. our three-year-old and, uh, and uh, one-year-old. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he happened to produce for me the video mm -hmm. for this album. Mm -hmm. And he, by his support, I was able to finish the project mm -hmm. and now uh, able to now graduate in promoting my music. I launched the album. Mm -hmm. I launched in 2016. Mm -hmm. I launched the album. Mm -hmm. And then now from there, now I, I took a break Kidogo musically mm -hmm. because of raising the kids. From 2016, right? Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I took a break uh, from raising the kids and also uh, now decided to now be home. Take I'm a home uh, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Taking care of the kids. Mm -hmm. And then now from there, uh, last year was my biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. wow. when, I have my, uh, when I had my second son. Okay. I had a baby prim, seven months, mm -hmm. so we had to be uh, in Kenyatta for three months. Mm -hmm. So uh, he, we, he, he was fighting for his life. Yeah. So com him coming out uh, uh, strong and coming out uh, alive, mm -hmm. I usually love to encourage mothers who are pregnant that mm -hmm. they shall carry their pregnancy and God shall bless them. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, it's not an easy thing to see uh, mothers uh, the outside there 
uh, working, uh, uh, trying their best, uh, even when challenges come through. I respect mothers so much. Mm. And I'm a mother as well. Mm -hmm. And all the mothers outside there, uh, God bless you and salute. You're doing a fantastic <laughs> job. Yeah. So now from there, now mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. I've taken my music to the next level. Mm -hmm. So oh. I'm promoting my music. Mm -hmm. uh, What's the name of the album? The album is called Mchunga Wangu. Mm -hmm. Mchunga Wangu. Mchunga Wangu. Mm -hmm. I'm promoting my, uh, my music uh, in, uh, in, uh, out, uh, in supermarkets. Yeah. In, uh, on, uh, I've been able to reach out on on on, on shop to shop mm -hmm. uh, basis on uh, to create awareness on my mm -hmm. album. Mm -hmm. And thank you for giving me an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And please, you can get my album. Uh, the <laughs> album is going for three hundred Kenya shillings. Yeah, yeah. You can mm -hmm. also give me a call on oh seven two six seven forty five one thirty eight, and you get your album. Yes. Yes. So why did you decide to take to take on the? I would call it traditional kind of, you know, old I'm school. selling yeah, the old school. school. Yeah, kind of selling your music. Great. Because these days people are just doing it online. Online. We don't see people um, spreading or just um, taking their albums mm -hmm. around the to streets. people the door streets. to door. Yes. Wow, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the online is a very great market. I'm mm -hmm. also working on my online market. Mm -hmm. And I also realized that as uh, most people have drifted their most attention online mm -hmm. and forgetting also the traditional mm -hmm. way. Uh, right, can I assure you mm -hmm. that I've tested the waters? Yes. The market is, uh, is ready mm -hmm. even for the DVDs. Really? Yes, mm -hmm. actually most cars mm -hmm. are playing DVDs mm -hmm. on their cars. Okay. So uh, 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 people have laptops, mm -hmm. people have Android phones. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can access, uh, if you would want to promote my music, mm -hmm. uh, you can WhatsApp me, I send you and then you promote me. So uh, 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 using the, both the online and mm -hmm. also the, the mm -hmm. traditional, it's okay. working. So you I would use say both, not just stick to don't one. Don't stick on, on one. Yeah. Use both because uh, uh, people love to see who are you, what mm -hmm. are you giving us, what are you blessing us with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've tested the waters. Mm -hmm. It's positive. Actually, mm -hmm. I've found a tremendous positive effect on the one-on-one on the -on -one market mm -hmm. uh, with my clients. Mm -hmm. And I respect all the people who've supported me. And mm -hmm. thank you so much for your support. Mm -hmm. Yes. How hard is it right now, especially in these COVID times? Uh, it's, mm -hmm. It was already hard for people back in the days, yeah. you know, having, it, it's like when you're trying to sell something to somebody, yes. especially on the streets or mm -hmm. in the supermarket, mm -hmm. some people are just, they just ignore you and yes. just go. So it's, it's not that easy. Yeah. And especially now you're being told maintain the distance and everything. Mm -hmm. How are you going about it? Uh, fantastic. Number one, uh, I usually have my sanitizer. Mm -hmm. I put on my mask all the time. Mm -hmm. Keep social distancing mm -hmm. and also share your product and make sure that uh, you you also maintain uh, the uh, when you having a conversation with uh, someone you're able to be clear transparent mm -hmm. and honest with what you have mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. do you kind of play for them what um, you want them to listen to or oh, they just fantastic. buy it by no no no, no. <laughs> so I have my phone yeah I use my phone because I'm not okay. able to carry all these big yeah, gadgets the big speakers so and <laughs> the speakers I just <laughs> use simply my phone yeah and I show you my my product mm -hmm. and I have my product mm -hmm. and I am the product yes so uh, with with that actually I'm pleased even to meet and talk with you in person mm -hmm. and even share and get to know who are consuming my product mm -hmm. yeah and I appreciate for all those who are supporting me big mm -hmm. ups to you <laughs> how is the feedback from the feedback. all those people that Whoa. you've managed to sell you all let me say the feedback is it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Actually, right now with this COVID, uh, the, with the challenging times people are in, mm -hmm. uh, people need they need they they need God. Mm -hmm. They need hope. Yes. They need they need that that thing that can push them to uh, to do. I mean, to work day in day out. Mm -hmm. People are so hard working. Yeah. Coming to work on a daily basis, consistently, just hoping that God shall provide for your mm -hmm. business. It's a it's lot of it's 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 it, it, you're stretching your faith to the next level. Yeah. So I would say uh, people re re really need music mm -hmm. and really need music that can bless and and give them hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is your favorite song out of the eight tracks? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I love Mchunga Wangu. <laughs> I can tell you something about the song. Yeah. Um, Chunga Wangu, mm -hmm. I used to have my math, uh, my mathematics teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, she, I was in class three, mm -hmm. and and she she used to sing for me a song in a uh, most Catholic sing mm -hmm. like Mchunga Wangu, mm -hmm. mayote. Mm -hmm. So one time I really failed maths, mm -hmm. and he called me. <laughs> he uh, she called me and mm -hmm. she told me, Sitia. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, give you tuition for the next uh, few months so that at least you improve on your maths. Yeah. <laughs> so she told me, I want you to always believe on something. 
I want you to always believe in God that he will always be your guide mm -hmm. from now until your youth and your teenage and even in your, in your generation. Yeah. And unfortunately, after, uh, after a few months, he, uh, she passed. Mm -hmm. And that thing really striked me because I didn't know why she would tell me that. Yeah. So uh, I, I used this to... This is class three. Yeah, when I was in class three. So I, I wrote the song. This is 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, so and she uh, had a very deep impact on you. She realized I was I I used to sing mm -hmm. and I used to sing on parades. She used to call me to sing on the parades. <laughs> so I used to sing that song she told me to sing. Yes. And then I I meditated on what she told me. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Okay, fine. I, I'm, I'm I'm I started I wrote this mchunga wangu when I was very young." Mm -hmm. I, I said, "Mchunga wangu mm -hmm. wewe ni nuru yangu, Mungu wangu nakupa roho yangu yote." I just wrote a small verse and mm -hmm. I didn't even finish the song. Yeah. I went back to my drawing book where you put uh, books uh, shelved. Yes. So I took the book mm -hmm. and then I record. I had a small radio mm -hmm. and a small cassette. I recorded mm -hmm. and then I, I played it. And, and then I said, I need to finish this song. I've never finished it ever since. Mm -hmm. So let me, let me see if I can call my sister and friends to help me. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I, so from there, I wrote the song. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, in my when I got saved, I mm -hmm. got saved in 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, when I got saved, uh, I realized that God truly has been God in my life. In the difficult times, He has always been there for me. In my lack and my abundance, He has always been there for me. And and for every other person who is believing in God, God exists and He truly exists. He's He is a life giver. He's a life changer. And God can do anything for you if only you pray and ask Him. By faith, you shall receive it. Mm -hmm. So this song is so powerful. Get it today mm -hmm. and grab a copy today you've just given us a little bit of yeah. a taste of <laughs> yeah. so just give us some more oh can i can i stand up and <laughs> sing it yes all right so i'm gonna sing it uh mm -hmm. here yes all right <laughs> yeah
because yeah. these days it's very hard to find a gospel song that that level, yes, know, that it's then, good. Like that is, what know, we have. See, or see, gospel. See, 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 okay. gospel. see gospel. But it is ish ish gospel. Yes, they call it gospel, but mm-hmm. it doesn't really speak to you. So, yeah. What this yeah. song reminds me, um, primary school. Mm-hmm. And then I see you, pal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there was that one lady, mm-hmm. you know, the leader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love vocals is Yes, muna, yani muna 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 yeah. Yes, so. it's that kind of a song. It's a dope song. It's a dope song. Thank and you. on that note, thank you. What's your take on what we are saying right now? Like the gospel industry is changing yeah. like tremendously. People are singing music that not what we used to have back in the days. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is what is your take? What is your take and what is different and mm-hmm. how would you want it to be? All right. I uh let me say the gospel industry is really evolving. Mm-hmm. And um one of the things that I came to realize is as as uh gospel artists are are, are really doing their best. Mm-hmm. Uh lyrically um when, when you said about the content creation mm-hmm. I say it's about what inspires the artist mm-hmm. because uh, like for me in, in person, mm-hmm. what inspires me, I compose my song through life experiences and through the word of God. Yeah. And also um, different artists have different assignment in the music industry mm-hmm. because uh, we are all rich in the world through our music. Mm-hmm. And so I, I, I believe that um, uh, right now uh, uh, people need to hear uh, godly content, mm-hmm. uh, content that can be able to be related with God's word, mm-hmm. because uh, w- w- this, the Bible says that in the beginning there was a word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. Mm-hmm. So if you can be able to uh, trans- translate everything that God speaks through you in your composition, yeah. you'll be able to impact lives, uh, because uh, we are all human beings. Mm-hmm. We 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 are all. Um, we, we, we listen, mm-hmm. we listen, we, 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 we translate what we listen to. Mm-hmm. And it, uh, one, one powerful thing I learned about music, mm-hmm. music is a piece of art yes. that goes to the ears mm-hmm. and straight to the heart. True. And when you're able to uh, bless, not only reach out to people, but also uh, transform lives, people listen. Actually, I realize at, uh, at times when people are in the challenging times and they listen to something that uplifts their spirit, mm-hmm. Trust you me, they, lo- they, don't, they don't stay the same no. because of the power of music. Mm-hmm. Music is very powerful. And if you can be able to uh, encourage our composers, our producers to mm-hmm. continue doing their best in, in, in producing great music and great content, I believe that uh, it's not personally for you benefiting, mm-hmm. but also reaching out to, uh, to, to, to souls that need to get to, to go to Christ. For me, uh, the souls that are outside there is important for them to get saved saved and also their lives to be transformed through Jesus Christ yeah yeah yes true so you say that in um, you, you you're doing so many genres yeah when it comes to gospel yeah and be hip-hop uh, and you said you're doing you want I don't know if you have Redeem. done it yet read him right uh, is it there yeah. already the, re- the reading one it's audio I'm mm-hmm. yet to do the video for it so it's among the album yeah no the, the, the reading is the, uh, the the bonus track I okay. call it the bonus track uh-huh. uh, it's it's actually the one that I'm um, I'm going to be doing my next release video. Mm-hmm. It's called Adam and Eve. Mm-hmm. Actually, this okay. this particular <laughs> reading, this mm-hmm. particular reading is dedicated to couples mm-hmm. uh, in terms of the story about the creation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you watch out that uh, that video is oh, coming we're soon. For it. <laughs> so yeah. you said you're doing reading, right? Yes. And in Kenya, we have the new genre called gengeton. Uh-huh. So it's not bad for you to sing a gengeton, gengeton gospel song. Genge. Yes. Oh yeah, that would be great. I've never tried the genge one, mm-hmm. but if I'm able to be posed a challenge with a producer, I mm-hmm. can, I can, I can see how I can do it. You know, I'm, I'm so waiting for that mm-hmm. reggae mm-hmm. song. Please come back when you, when <laughs> it's out. When it's out. Because mm-hmm. I, we, we've had so many gospel genge songs, mm-hmm. gengeton songs. Mm-hmm. So I just want to listen to Your the reading version. one and see if mm-hmm. there's still that powerful content mm-hmm. in. In the gospel reading yes. and compare it to 
the Gengeton gospel. The, the Gengeton. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that one. Mm -hmm. But for now, there's one that really outstands. There's one hip hop uh, uh, track. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Your Beginning and Ending. Mm -hmm. That track actually it's powerful. Mm -hmm. in, it's in, it's in, in, in one of this album. It's yeah. a hip hop track, mm -hmm. and uh, for all the hip hop artists, I've got you covered on mm -hmm. this. Okay. Uh, th that challenge, I'll take it up mm -hmm. when uh, maybe I'll on, in, on my my third project. Yes. So right now I'm working on my next uh, project, which will uh, comprise of different other genre, mm -hmm. but also upgrading. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I think we'll we'll play that hip hop song. Yeah. Before. Okay. We we end the show today. All right. And thank you so much for coming through. I'd like you to share you once again where people would can find your album yes. and your songs online mm -hmm. and offline all right yes. so yes i'm so grateful to uh, to have you my audience and thank you so much uh, my name is furaha and today i have my album called mchunga wangu it is a collection of eight songs english in kiswahili get your copy today by ordering on 0726 745 the dvd is going for 300 kenya shillings uh, give me a call on whatsapp and also on facebook get me furaha gidaiga and let's keep the conversation going yes <laughs> So as we wind up, mm -hmm. today in the morning we, we had a, a discussion yeah. and we were asking guys at home, um, why is it that women don't approach, pursue men, not approach, but pursue men? All right. Mm -hmm. Why What's do your take on that? My, my take before, on that. Uh -huh. before, before you answer Being that, right? yeah. you said you were married, right? Yes, yes I'm married, yes. Right, so mm -hmm. the first, first question is, mm -hmm. who can you Oh, actually, let me say this one was very challenging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was not challenging, it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me, I, oh, right, my husband is watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also want to say hi to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, he, actually, he is the one who approached me. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, second question. Yes. Who proposed to who? Uh, uh, he did. He did. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, the question is, Kwanini Mwade Mwanogopaku? Uh, uh, that's a very good question. Mm. Actually, I've never thought about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I usually say that, you know, uh, uh, men are hunters. Yeah. They're designed to hunt. Right. So they so they, they hunt knowing what they're hunting for. Mm. Yes. And when they get the, hun the hunter, the, 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 the hunter, hunter, <laughs> the <hunter laughs> for lack of a better word. Hunter, actually, basically, mm -hmm. what men, they know, they always know what they're looking for in mm -hmm. a woman. Mm -hmm. And when they know, when they find it, mm -hmm. trust you me, they don't go back. Mm. They, they, they have already made the decision a long time ago. So you just go. <laughs> So can I say hi to my husband? <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> oh yeah, Jeff Coyne, I'm so grateful and thank you for uh, giving me an opportunity to have this album out. I also want to thank you uh, for your love and support to us as a family and also you're doing a great job also. Um, I love you. I love you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. And also for my sons, Jeremiah Weiss and Blessed Favor, you are great, 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 great babies. And you're going to grow like champions and you're going to prosper in Jesus' name. And thank you also, Isako, for giving me an opportunity here. And looking forward to come back again. Mm -hmm. Also sharing with you 